In order to protect the life of people and promote health care services, it is necessary to develop effective administrative policies and programs, improve health facilities, secure appropriate funding, and strengthen the overall health care system. The training of health care providers, the people who provide the actual service, is of particular importance. Let's look at some examples of how JICA respects the recipient country's ownership and self-help efforts by encouraging stakeholder participation and management capacity building. A project is underway to develop the local health system in the province of Benguet in the Philippines. The province of Benguet is located in the northern part of Luzon, the largest island in the Philippines. Devolution in the Philippines has resulted in rural health units run by local municipalities. The province of Benguet has launched a project to improve local health services. The devolution has led to the fragmentation of the healthcare delivery system. To improve the quality of services, the Philippines Department of Health is aiming to enhance governance by promoting the creation of interlocal health zones on a national level. Benguet's 13 municipalities are divided into four interlocal health zones. By forming an integrated health district, the municipalities are able to make effective use of resources by sharing limited health funds, personnel, and facilities. JICA is supporting the improvement of health services in each interlocal health zone. We at JICA have always said we're ready to support those who make the effort themselves. We've been constructing systems, including capacity building, and training people. These are JICA's areas of special expertise. Uh, previously, all government were focused on infrastructure program, but now we are uh, changing uh, that uh, principle of uh, giving, uh, of budgeting, that we have to give a bigger share to our uh, health programs, because we believe that a healthy people means a healthy nation. How far this service can benefit the uh, the interlocal health zone, not just us, not just, just for Benguet, but also for the nearby provinces that we also cater. So from there we learned that uh, through the interlocal health zone that uh, we can share res really share resources. This is Benguet General Hospital in La Trinidad, the capital of Benguet. PhilHealth, the National Health Insurance Corporation, has set up a registration desk near the entrance. Here, hospital patients and their families are encouraged to join the scheme. JICA is helping to set up similar desks in other hospitals, rural health units and villages. An increase in membership will enable PhilHealth to provide more funding to individual health facilities. Thanks to the project, drug procurement and inventory management at the ATOC Rural Health Unit has seen dramatic improvements. Okay, so this is our stock room where we put our drugs. 
So before, uh, when the project is not yet here, the drugs are all piled in cartoons of which it's just uh, everywhere, which is not so organized. But now you can easily take it out because it is well labeled and it is well fixed. Uh, output of the project is we have here the stock cards stock cards of the available medicines so all the medicines that are here in the stock room is put into folder for the stock card so that in the stock card we, we will mon we can monitor what medicines are available and what medicines are not available uh, maybe for them to have a hands-on management on health services they should know what are the needs of the of the people and then from there uh, they will be able to 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 take off okay so uh, once they know the uh, the requirements of their people to the rural health uh, units to the district hospitals then uh, they could now uh, prioritize allocation of funds of course allocation of funds is very important Local health managers were used to following orders from the Department of Health. With this project, we've adopted a bottom-up approach. We encourage local health service providers to grasp the needs of the community. Then they come up with appropriate plans. They talk to the mayor and persuade him to support and implement planning. The change in their attitude, the realization that nothing will change unless they take action, is probably the biggest factor in the project's success. Strengthening governance at both the small community and provincial level. JICA's efforts to improve the quality of health services through the development of local health systems are paying off in the Philippines. Decentralization in Tanzania has led to calls for the strengthening of regional health management teams that can serve as an interface between the central and local governments. Morogoro is the second largest region in Tanzania. The adult HIV infection rate is 5.4%, making AIDS the leading cause of death. Malaria is rampant among children, killing one in five under the age of five. JICA has been working with the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare and the Morogoro Regional Government with the aim of improving the management capacities of district health management teams as well as that of the regional health management team that supervises them. Mary Nzoa is a nursing officer of the Morogoro District. As a member of the Operational Research Working Group, she has undergone training with the representatives of other districts to acquire further knowledge and skills. The working group meetings is very useful because we share experience, we exchange ideas, and it's very, very useful interaction. Ms. Nzoa is applying her acquired skills in her actual daily work. I have a confidence on what am I doing through the experience gained, develop my capacity to, do, to conduct my daily activities or my duties as a manager as well. The project has achieved in giving capacity to the managers both 
at regional level and district level. But the most important achievement is to get the people involved in their own problems. What's significant about this is that the Japanese staff have been the catalyst, working and thinking together with the Tanzanian staff to solve problems. As the catalyst, we've enabled health managers in this region in Tanzania to continuously strengthen their skills. This has allowed the people of Tanzania to sustainably and continuously develop their work systems. At the same time, we've also encouraged capacity development, where people are encouraged to use their own abilities for continuous development. In order to improve health services, JICA is devoting the time and effort necessary to the development of human resources, both in the field and at the regional and national levels.